systems process and it's my first solo exhibit. There's the experience of just seeing a large scale installation and being able to walk around it and, and kind of experiencing that and knowing that it's something that doesn't last. And what's exciting about having food there that's directly inspired it is you can really make that a complete experience. It's a visual experience being able to taste it um, as well I think kind of kind of completes the, the whole like sensory just makes it a much fuller experience. I would like the food to enhance the idea of being in the moment. You're seeing the art in conjunction with the food you're tasting and vice versa. You're tasting the food while seeing the art and that's that's the package. The balloons are clearly like right there, you know. And I think that's a perfectly reasonable and good observation to have, you know, like that is right there. And like people can be like, whoa, those are balloons and talk about that. And so for the food I wanted to mimic in some ways the color. So the bean sprout with this like atomic, beautiful neon color. Very much so in that response to the balloons. The, the sprout itself is almost like these flagellum type things that he's got going on in a lot of the balloon pieces. And then the, the peanuts too. Uh, again, like that approachable childlike thing. It's like a circus. And additionally, it's like, you know, it's a balloon, it's circular. And then the dumpling idea in general just came from balloon. Peanuts. Hot peanuts. Hot peanuts. What paper is that? New City? <laughs> it's the reader. <laughs> something in the process that there is like, I'm not trained, I'm not classically trained, it's all kind of just coming. It's, it's very process based, like there's like, it's, it's, it's definitely not chef done that for sure. How did I get this balloon art? I was actually, so I was studying, I was a student at the University of Chicago uh, studying physics at the time, and I had joined a circus and, and performed as a juggler and that, that's kind of what I wanted to do for a while and we would get calls to do different gigs, different events, festivals and one time there was uh, someone was looking for a balloon artist and um, I think it was like $30 per hour which as a student just seemed like a fortune so I just told them I was a balloon artist and showed up and started twisting and that's, that's how it all got started. At least it's, but I don't, I don't do birthday parties anymore. We've got some lovely dumplings that are based on Willie's work. The meat dumpling having Chinese sausage, pork, like a tamarind flavor in there. Oh, they try to be look like a balloon. Each color, green being lime flavored, of course, orange being orange flavored, of course. 
Blue being I don't, blue raspberry, what, what other blue flavor is there? Blueberry, come on, that doesn't count. Um, and then red is strawberry. So they have different like vinegars, a little different flavor, but hopefully they'll impart the color and the flavor into these guys so they'll kind of look like the balloons like, coming off of those guys. I don't want the pickling liquid to be too hot because I want them to maintain that real crunchy, crispy, balloony feel to them. And then uh, Shanghai Old Vinegar Peanuts, so they're like black vinegar reduction with fried red peanuts. And then shrimp popcorn. We're a process-oriented art service organization. The process system is a huge part of what we do, and having Willie here for the past two and a half weeks building all of this and creating and um, twisting all of these balloons and looking and seeing, hanging things and then rehanging things to see how they work in the space has been really interesting. And then to, to speak with him on a personal level, especially while he's been going through all of this Vex uh, promotion with his beer bottle has been really interesting. Um, uh, and it's been a really great time for him to grow, I think, here as well as in the city of Chicago. Where the emergence comes in is I set up the rules and about how I'm going to proceed, but the emergence comes in the final structure. It leads to certain structures that I wouldn't, couldn't have planned for, and as a result, it sort of opens up spaces and divides it in ways that were unexpected, and it's that experience that emerges out of the process. I like to think that part of my work is all about accessibility, like using the I think there's a playfulness. I think because it's balloons that people stop and they like have that initial kind of like childlike reaction to it right away. But when they, they stop and they look at it, they're able to think about it. And in the same way, I think that that's a lot of what Grill Smiles is about is that, okay, it's food, so it's approachable. And then what is, what is this really uh, trying to get at on a, on a deeper level? One that I know when I want to cook, and that's really, it's just still the same thing. The only reason I do it is because it's about the people. It's about interacting with people. It's about connecting the art to people. And food is like the most universal thing possible. You know? More so than anything, I, I think I'm passionate about people um, than about food. The food is just kind of like a vehicle to connect to the people in some ways.